Mike McCool here. I'm in the Royal Examiner studio and with me today is Craig Laird. Craig is the president of FREBA. That's the Front Royal Independent Business Alliance. That's right. It's also the president of Royal Oaks. Royal Oak Computers. Well, I want to say Royal Oaks, yes. but Royal Oak Only Computers. One oak. Only one oak. Many computers. Uh, <laughs> entrepreneur, an entrepreneur extraordinaire. He also is the owner of the Vine and Leaf over at Royal Plaza. So if you've never been there, it's a great little place to have lunch, uh, wine shop, cheese shop, not cheese, not excuse cheese. me, chocolate. fudge, yes. chocolate, yes, and all sorts of goodies gifts, you have, yeah. gifts, yeah, all sorts of gold. Well, today we want to talk about all the things that are coming up in our community, say in the next week or so, and starting today, we want first off on the list, I got a, I got a list, how many things are on there. I have down pop-up store, so let's yeah. talk about pop-up store. Okay, on Main Street in one of the vacant buildings, they've rented it out, and they've started a holiday pop-up market. This is uh, a space for artists and crafters and gift sellers and... Kind of like just, an indoor flea market almost. Well, in, uh, indoor upscale, shops. Upscale. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a small mall. Yeah, small um, mall. There you go. That's where good. you can get nice gifts that you can't find any place else. Uh, the Vine and Leaf actually has a booth there. Yeah, good. We've got our chocolates there. We've got some peas there and some other things. Mm -hmm. And there's just a wide variety of things that you can get as gifts during the holiday season. That's in the Kibler Furniture Storefront. That's right. That's right uh, there. Been remodeled there. And, yeah. yeah. Right there in the middle part of Main Street. Right. It's going to be it. It's going to be open for two months from the, uh, November 15th through January 15th. Okay. So make sure you stop in. There's plenty of things to get there. There's pl plenty of crafters and other different gifts that you can and find. And the great thing about that place, you can enter it from the parking lot side and the Main Street side. That's right. So plenty of places to park. All right, so that's the pop-up store. Uh, so that's really kind of like shop local kind of falls yeah, into that. So let's talk about the shop local initiative. Yeah, um, Freeba really supports things like pop-up markets. These are rapidly spreading across the country and supported by all the local indie groups. We're now in the, the season called local indie shopping. So this is in support of your local independent businesses. Uh, it's going across a, about 40 different independent business alliances that are supporting this. And that runs from November 1st through December 31st to show your support for how local businesses help in the community. What's the, what's the ratio they talk about money you spend locally? Yeah, it turns around in your community two to three times before leaving the community. When you shop at a big box store, a lot of that money, boom, goes straight out goes of the Goes to Arkansas. Community. <laughs> well, it goes to various places, but that's one of them. Um, but monies that you spend in the community but with local businesses get turned around. They hire local people. They give jobs to, uh, to kids that are in high school. They support the cheerleaders and the football teams. And, and the sometimes these and small businesses things. really are more boutique, too. They have a lot of special things you can't find at, at Costco. That's right. <laughs> that's right. And we package our tea uh, at the Vine and Leaf, and you can't find that anyplace else. No, that's great. So, I, I, so shop local. Well, we'll talk more about that. Okay, tomorrow, Thanksgiving Day. I thought everyone would be closed. Well, guess what? Somebody's going to be open. I bet CNC <laughs> ice cream is going to be up. And if you haven't caught the little interview I did the other day with William Huck on on his activities for Thanksgiving Day, that is the turkey egg hunt. And of course, he's going to open his store around three o'clock, and he has a whole uh, variety of Thanksgiving flavored uh, ice cream. Okay. So if you get tired of eating, except turkey, he said turkey doesn't work too well, but mashed potatoes, gravy, and oh. peanut, pumpkin pie. He's always, he's he's always, always got, got a some flavor. But he's got come up with his turkey egg hunt, and that starts around 3.30 uh, at the gazebo. He's going to have about 3,000 plus plastic wow. eggs uh, stuffed with candy, money, and coupons. Yeah. And he said, I'm probably going to put some up and down Main Street as well. So it, it would be really interesting. Uh, someone uh, messaged me this morning and says, I don't have any kids. Can I still come? Uh, I guess absolutely. Yeah. Why not? I mean, yeah. let's all have fun. It's, you it's never a, know what you're going to find in those areas. It's a family fun day event. Yeah. All right. So that will take care of Thursday. If you nothing to do, if you don't watch football, go downtown. All right. Friday. 
Friday is a strange day, so Friday, tell me about Friday. Friday is Plaid Friday. We encourage everyone, the businesses and the citizens, to show their support for local businesses by wearing plaid. Dress up your animals in plaid. I've got some great pictures of things right, like that. Right, right. But it's to show your support, and that is sweeping the nation again with the shop local um, communities. And so I've got a plaid shirt, so I'll be I wearing that. i dig it out. I think yeah. I have one somewhere. Where this is one day you know one will make fun of you for wearing plaid, right? Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> so plaid Friday. That's on Friday. All right, that's Friday. Plaid Friday. All right, Saturday's going to be a busy day. So yeah. let's talk about Saturday. Saturday we start in the morning with the placement of Front Royal's love letters. It's the type that they have around Virginia that Virginia takes around to all the this different This is our 50th um, anniversary of the, of the love letters. Yes, yeah, so we've, we've made Virginia our own, Leonard, right. and they're portable. We're going to set them up at the gazebo on Saturday morning, and they'll be at the gazebo all day Saturday. So come down and take your selfies and your pictures sure. and your tourist photos and show your love for the community. Um, about mid-afternoon, uh, we'll have people from the Chamber of Commerce and Freeba, et cetera, handing out the shop small bags filled with coupons and other goodies from local merchants. Right. Um, the Chamber is going to be at different eateries during the morning uh, to hand out those same bags. So um, they're great canvas bags. This is sponsored by American Express, which is a great supporter of small business on Small Business Saturday. I think it's at the one where they have like 300 of these bags. Um, yeah, right now they're going to hand out about 300. About 300. And the Warren County High School DECA a program assisted the chamber in packaging it's all the goodies good. yeah. goodies in there. So also there's coupons and uh, several other goodies in these bags, so be looking for those. All right, now, what is going to happen right after okay. that? Okay, around 5 o'clock, we start the festivities at the gazebo. We're going to have some introductions and presentations, but we're going to light up the local love letters. Right. And then after that, we're going to have the annual lighting of the town's Christmas tree. So all the lights on the reeds that come up and down Main Street right. will Those be lit, and the, and the Christmas tree. There's a, uh, a corral that's going to be performing. Right, Valley the Corral, day. right. Um, and... Uh, who knows what else? It'll be it'll be a fun day. It'll be interesting. Yeah. All right. So that takes care of Saturday. Yes. Sunday we'll all go to church. Yes. On Monday. On Monday we have the alternative to all of this online shopping, and it's called Cider Monday. Yeah. So C I D E R. C I D E R. Kind of drink, right? Yes. <laughs> right. Yeah. So you could have you know maybe some mulled cider, maybe some <laughs> spiked cider, but all right. um, but various businesses will be uh, supporting the effort by offering cider to the customers that come in. So it's a neighborly way of celebrating the what everybody else calls Cyber, Cyber Monday. Cyber so, Monday, right. So forget all the online stuff, settle back with your neighbors, come shop and have local. a chat, shop locally, and have some cider. Well, the week will be kind of free and clear uh, that week. Yeah, as far as back a lot to of, business. Back everybody to business, needs to go back to work Back after to business the on that. Uh, and, but then on Saturday, the 7th, starts another full yes. day of activities. The Chamber sponsorship of the annual Christmas Parade is on December 7th. Now, in addition to the Christmas Parade, which, which begins at 4 p.m., the Chamber has various organizations, businesses, and crafters that will be set up uh, in the downtown area around the gazebo. Right. Don't forget the pop-up uh, holiday market right. will, That'll be, will open. be open as well. Um, and all the other local businesses downtown. Um, but at 4 o'clock, the Christmas Parade begins and all the crafters will have gathered around the gazebo right. and, and come and maybe get some, uh, uh, maybe the love letters will show up again. Well, you never, you never know. know. They're portable. Yes, they are. And <laughs> we're going to see those around town and it's going to be uh, very exciting That'll to see great. what places they show up. Also Saturday morning is the Kiwanis Pancake Day. Yes. That's an annual event. It's been going on for a lot of years. Uh, this year uh, they've had to move it to a new location. I oh. think they did that. It's now at the Warren County High School. Okay. So it had been at E. Wilson for years. Yes. They just outgrew it and the space and parking and everything else. So it's at the Warren County High School. It's a great event. It helps the Kiwanis do uh, all the activities that they uh, do. And, and veterans eat free on that day because that is Pearl Harbor Day. Oh, that's right. December, December 7th. 7th. So uh, they're having veterans eat free pancakes on uh, Saturday morning at the Warren County High School. So that's a great event. That really makes two weeks or 10 days or yeah. so of a lot of activities that are going on in Front Royal. Right. It's a great place. The, the good in Front Royal. Right. That's what we want right. to say. So come out, support all your local merchants, and join your neighbors. 
So come down. Also, and make you just minutes. celebrated your 30th uh, bus- anniversary yes. in business. Royal Oak Computers is celebrating their 30th year in business. So it's been a great adventure. We're very, very busy. It's time to upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows oh, that's 10. That's right. That, that ends uh, at the end of the year. Yes. Support Jan- from Microsoft. January 14th, the support for Windows 7 does run out. It just seems like Windows 7 started just last year. <laughs> yeah. It's been around <laughs> for a time, while. It has been around for a while. So congratulations on Thank 30 you. long years. It's great. It's it's hard to stay in business 30 years, but yes, you know, we've managed 40 years for our business. So mm-hmm. Craig actually was instrumental in helping National Media Services get off the ground too. Yeah, that was you, my my first start here at Front Row. <laughs> you, you you learned all about business working for me. That's what I tell everybody. <laughs> <laughs> he's great. He, he got us off the ground, and he's done a great job with Royal Oak Computers and the Vine and Leap. All right, so we got a lot of time. Let's run through it real quick. We got the pop up mart. We got the turkey egg hunt. We got Plaid Friday. We have Small Business Saturday. Okay. Uh, we have the love letters coming downtown. The lighting of the Christmas tree. Monday is Cider Monday. Uh, then the following Saturday, the seventh, is Pancake Day. Mm-hmm. The Christmas parade. I uh, remember Veterans Eat Free. Uh, it's Pearl Harbor Day. All sorts of great things happening in Front yeah. Royal. That's great. Come it's on great. out. Come on out. It'll be a lot of fun. And and think about that turkey egg hunt. That that's. Uh, <laughs> You know it'll be hilarious. So yes. you know yeah. he's probably going to be dressed up like a turkey. I, I wouldn't wouldn't surprise us, would it? No, <laughs> all right. Not at all. Well, happy holidays to you, Craig. Same and to you, Mike. Uh, you be safe and enjoy the holiday. Okay. Thank you.